Okay, so Gaussian elimination is another way for us to solve systems of equations using matrices instead of, uh, instead of just solving the equations just like this. So, um, so a way that we are, the way that we are going to approach solving the Gauss-Jordan, the way that we are going to approach solving the system of equations using Gauss-Jordan elimination is that we're going to solve, set up what's called an augmented coefficient matrix, and then we're going to put it into reduced row echelon form. And at the end of this video, I'll explain briefly how you would check your work using your calculator. So a way that we're going, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and take off the coefficients here of all the variables. So we take off the x coefficient here, which is one y coefficient, which is one, z coefficient, also one, and then we put a little line here so that, I mean, you don't have to, but it really helps kind of delineate which are the coefficients and then which are the constants here. So on the right side of this, we take the constant, which is just going to be five, and then we can close our matrix over here. So we do the exact same thing with the, with the next two rows here, next two equations. So we take the x uh, variable, which is two, y, which is three, z, which is five, and then the constant here, which is eight, uh, the x here, which is four, there's no y, so we put a zero there and then the z, which is five, and the constant, which is two. So the first step that we're going to do when, when putting this, using Gaussian-Jordan elimination to put this in reduced row echelon form is we're going to try to get the leading one, the leading one in the first column here, the leading one in the second column, and then the leading one in the third column. So the way that we can do this is using elementary row operations, which are multiplying, you can switch any two rows um, around, you can multiply by scalars, and you can replace a row with a scalar multiple of itself or another row added to itself, uh, which sounds complicated, but it's, it's very simple once you kind of understand what's going on. So first of all, uh, it really helps if you, don't, if you don't just kind of go ad hoc, just trying to solve this and that and the other thing. You go, row, you go column by column and do it that way. Um, so here, we nicely have the one already, the leading one up here. So we need to clear out this column here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the second row with uh, two times row one minus row two. Uh, two to, yeah, minus row two. So two, I'm gonna write here two times row one minus row two. Again, just trying to clear out this first, uh, this for, uh, second row first column here. Same thing with the third row. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply four times row one. I'm gonna minus, subtract row three. So four times row one minus row three. And here, row one just stays the same, so I'll just copy that over. We have one, 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 five. Here in the second row, we have, so two times the first row is gonna be two, 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 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this minus, uh, this, this row here minus the second row. So two minus two is zero, two minus three is negative one, two minus five is negative four, uh, negative three, excuse me, and 10 minus eight is gonna be two. Same thing with this row down here. So first row times four is gonna be four, 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 five times four is 20. And we're gonna do this row minus this row, the third row here. So four minus four is zero, uh, four minus zero is four, four minus five is negative one, and 20 minus two is 18. Okay, so now we've cleared out the first column here, and we need to re repeat the same procedure for the second column. So I'm gonna go ahead here, and I'm just going to kind of erase this here. So it looks like our leading one here has a negative sign in front of it, so we're gonna to need to multiply the entire second row by negative one. So I'm just gonna, in fact, switch these signs here. We had a negative one, negative three, now positive, and then we have the negative two over here. Okay, so we need to clear out uh, this, this row down here in the third row, second column. We need to clear out this four, because we have a leading one here, we need to clear that out, and eventually we'll need to get this, which we might as, we might as well do in the same step. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just first row completely stays the same. Actually, the first row, I'll do this in one step here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do row one minus row two. And I'm doing that in order to clear out this one here because if we have a leading one here, there can be no other non-zero numbers in that column. So row one minus row two, so we have one. One minus one is zero. One minus three is negative two. Uh, and five minus a negative two is gonna be seven. And then row two just stays the same, so I'll just copy zero, one, three, negative two. And then I'm going to replace the third row with four times row two um, minus row three. So four times row two here is going to be four, one times four is four, three times four is 12, negative two times four is negative eight. And then I'm going to do this row minus this row here. So four minus four is zero, 12 minus a negative one is 13, and negative eight 
Uh, minus 18 is going to be negative 26. Okay, so finally we need to get this leading one in this row here because we have a leading one, leading one, and then we have uh, this row here. So just to save space, I'm just going to do it right on here. So we have 13 and negative 26. I'm going to divide the entire last row by 13 to get 1 and negative 2. 1, negative 2. Great, so now finally all we need to do is clear out these last two, this last column here because we have negative 2 and 3 and we need them both to be zeros in order to have this be in reduced row echelon form. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll just do it in one step here. Our last step is going to be, I'll multiply, so replace the first row with 2 times the third row plus the first row. So 2 times row 3 plus row 1. And I'll, I'll replace the second row here with 3 times, 3 times um, row 3 minus row 2. Okay, so row one, the first two columns just stay the same. We have one and zero. And three, uh, excuse me, two times row three is going to be two, and negative two times two is going to be negative four. And we're adding these together, so negative two plus two is zero, just like we wanted. And negative four plus seven is going to be three. Okay, and so here in the second row, the zero and one stay the same. So we have zero, one, and we have 3 times row 3 minus row 2. So 3 times row 3 is going to be 3, um, 3 and negative 6. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 6 minus the negative 2 is negative 4. And we just copy the last row down here. We have 0, 0, 1, negative 2. OK. So 7 plus. Okay, uh, great. Let me just make sure I did all my algebra right here. Um, three, this is, yeah, this is positive four here, just for clarity, because we did, great, yeah, negative six. Okay, um, so what we can do to check our work, so now we have this in this matrix here in uh, reduced row echelon form, because we have the identity matrix here, and then we have, um, we have on the, on the other side of the augmented matrix, we have uh, all of our solution constants here. So if we want to check our work, um, we can go to our calculator, go to uh, hit second matrix. You can enter in, you go to edit, you go just create a new matrix. This, in this case, is a three by four matrix. To be three by four, you enter all the coefficients here. So one, 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 um, five, zero. You'd have zero, whoops, excuse me original matrix here, we have 2, 3, 5, 8, and then 4, 0, 4, 0, 5, 2. Okay, so then you can quit out of that matrix. You go to second matrix again. You go to the second tab, which is math. You scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you see something that says RREF, parenthesis. Hit that, which is number 8 on most calculators. You can go to second matrix again. Select the matrix that you originally entered in, probably A. Hit enter, and then it'll give you the reduced row echelon form, which in this case, so we can check our work, we have the identity matrix here, three, four, and negative two over there. So we just use our calculator. Again, not our first line of you know, attack here, but it's a great way to check our work after we've finished calculating the reduced row echelon form because it's really easy to make simple algebraic mistakes that can kind of completely alter our final answer. So that's the method that we're going to use to the gastro method of gastronomination that we're going to use to put a matrix into reduced row echelon form. To return to the equations menu, click here. To see more additional practice problems worked out, click here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To visit our website, you can click here. And finally, to return to the main menu, you can click this link here. And as a reminder, if you haven't already done so, you can purchase the free calculus blueprint by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Remember, it's only $1.95. Thank you for watching.